Here are three prompts you can use to take your English conversation classes to the next level. They're unique, customizable, and perfect for intermediate students. I'm Will from Enchanted ESL, and I teach loads of intermediate conversation classes. But I am sick of those boring lists of generic questions you get off the internet. They just provide a really tedious class. Instead, I've come up with a load of fun prompts that provoke really good conversation. You can use them with individual students or with a group of any size. The first one is controversial statements. I adore this activity because it gets students speaking with passion. You throw out a controversial statement like pineapple on pizza is fine, or the Harry Potter movies are way better than the books, and then you get your students to agree or disagree. You'll find students have pretty strong opinions about these things. And with a one-to-one -one student, you should argue the other side of the debate even if you don't really agree with it. Playing devil's advocate creates a lot more conversation. If you've got a group, hopefully some of them will disagree with each other and a discussion is inevitable. With the right set of students, this can be an absolute blast, but be careful with particularly argumentative students as it can get a bit out of hand. And steer clear of serious topics, politics, religion, societal matters, those things can get personal and quite unpleasant. Good controversial statements will focus around light topics, but that students have a strong opinion on. Food, movie, sport, things that students can argue about, but ultimately they don't matter that much. Our second prompt is what three things. You give students a situation or a location and ask them what three items they would bring. For example, what three things would you bring to survive on a desert island? Or what three things would you bring to a weekend-long festival? The discussion comes in debating the merits of different items. I like to get my students to think up a whole bunch of items and then whittle them down. In fact, you can structure the whole activity like this. Come up with loads of ideas together and then go through each one by one. In a group class, you can even get individual students to champion one particular item that they think is super important. And then you can make the final decision down to a vote. And take it a step further. Once they've picked three items, can they narrow it down to just one. All the while, they'll be practicing loads of language around negotiation, compromise, standing firm in their opinion, all of that above and beyond the vocabulary of the items they come up with. And in theory, with the right structure in place, ideas, narrow it down, maybe have a bit of a vote, you can make this activity last 20 to 30 minutes for just one prompt. Now, our third idea is called Tell Me About a Time When. It's all about recounting interesting and funny anecdotes. For example, tell me about a time when you had an encounter with a wild animal. Or tell me about a time when you laughed so hard you couldn't breathe. Telling stories about what happened in the past practices, well, the past tense. And that is a super important part of language that often gets missed out in a conversation only class. Of course, not everyone is an amazing storyteller, but if you have students that struggle to express themselves or structure a story from start to finish, you can make it a more collaborative effort. You and any other students in the class can ask questions to get more details or get them to move on by saying, well, what happened next? And if you think it's needed, spend a bit of time beforehand going over connective and organizational phrases like, next, then, meanwhile, those kind of things to make the story glued together. The mileage you get out of this one will depend really on your students. I know some who will go on for an entire hour telling a story and it would be great, but other students don't even know where to begin. With those ones, give them plenty of encouragement and plenty of support to get that story out of them. And if they don't have something interesting to say from their real life, then they can invent something. The important thing about all of these prompts is to be creative. Think about what different parts of language you can target and how you can get your specific students to express themselves. And for more great ideas like these and tons of examples, you should check out the 480 ESL Conversation Prompts ebook by Enchanted ESL. I've written this based on all my experience of conversation classes to include lots of genuinely interesting and engaging prompts. This is not a big list of boring generic questions, but a treasure trove of different discussion topics and different ways of constructing a conversation. Included are the three prompts in this video with loads of amazing examples, plus a ton of other prompt types, which are all just as interesting. Plus there are tips on how to get the best out of each prompt and even how to start coming up with your own. And it is only $4.80 plus VAT where you live. Considering it'll have you sorted for years of conversation classes, I think that's a pretty good deal. So check the link in the description to find out more and get your hands on the ebook right away. And make sure you aren't committing the biggest mistakes by English teachers in conversation classes. Find out all about them in this video right here. Go watch it. 
But for now, I've been Will from Enchanted ESL wishing you all the joy and success in your teaching. See ya!